What's up everyone, it's Ryan here with Green Tech Network. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly calibrate your 3D printer's extruder motor. So what you're going to want to do first is get your extruder up to whichever temperature you use for extruding the plastic. I'm extruding PLA right now, so I have it set to 95 degrees Celsius. So what you're going to want to do is get a Sharpie or some sort of marking device. I have a, a silver Sharpie here. Um, it's on black PLA, so it's hard to see with a black Sharpie. So what you're going to want to do is mark um, just a little spot on the plastic right near where the plastic line goes into the extruder. You can see it right here. And then after you do that, you're going to want to get a ruler that measures in millimeters. And you're going to want to measure out from that spot 100 millimeters exactly. So it's kind of tricky because you have to hold the ruler properly. Hopefully my arm's not in the way of the camera. So it's right about matched up down there. So it's exactly 100 millimeters. So after you mark that 100 millimeter point, you can see it right here at the 100 millimeter, um, and it's 100 millimeters from this little silver spot there. So after you mark those two spots, you're going to want to open up uh, any program that allows you to manually extrude. So I'm using uh, Pronter face right now and what you're going to want to do is extrude the plastic at around one millimeter per uh, extrusion click so let me zoom in a little bit right here a little too far just focusing on the cable back there so you don't get it to focus here all right so there you, now you can see the little the little spot right here so you're going to want to extrude one millimeter at a time until that little silver spot is perfectly lined up to the entrance of the extruder assembly. Keep going, keep going. All right, so there it is. The little silver spot we've got perfectly lined up with the hole in the extruder, and then the other silver spot's right there. So. Once you do that, you're going to want to extrude exactly 100 millimeters on the same program that you've been that you just used to extrude uh, one millimeter at a time. So you type in 100 and go ahead and set that to extrude. So in theory, if your extruder is pro uh, properly calibrated, that little silver spot that marks the 100 millimeter mark should be exactly right at the entrance to the extruder. So I'm going to go ahead and start the extrusion and see where my silver dot is in relation. Okay, so mine has finished extruding. If your extruder, just like mine, just did over extruded, then you're going to want to uh, reverse the extrusion one millimeter at a time until you see that little silver dot come up. It took exactly four millimeters over. So instead of extruding 100 millimeters, it extruded 104. So I can't get it to focus, but yeah, you can see a little, little silver dot there. So once you've done that, you're going to want to use this equation to determine the new steps that the motor for your extruder head should use per millimeter. So the equation is new steps equals the expected length times the number of current steps your motor is set up to over the actual extrusion length. So for us, our expected was 100 millimeters. So you just put in 100 for there. And then to see what steps your motor currently is using, 
uh, I use um, a repeater. I don't even know how it's pronounced. Repetier, if it's French, I don't know. But that's a program I use for um, programming the motor steps. So once you boot up the program, you're going to want to go to, well, first you have to connect obviously to your printer, and then you're going to want to click on the configuration option along the top bar chart next to file and view, and then you want to click on firmware EEPROM configuration. So you, depending on which firmware your printer uses, your screen might look a little bit different than this, but you, don't, you want to scroll down until you see something that says like extruder steps per millimeter. Um, depending on which firmware, it might be a little different of a name. So that's the number we're going to plug in to the equation where we have new steps equals expected times the current steps that are in the, um, that are within the printer and then over the actual extrusion length. So for me, uh, my steps currently, my extrusion is set to 102 steps per millimeter. So you want to, uh, I'm going to have 100 times 102 over the actual. So the actual for me was 104 because mine extruded a little bit more than 100 millimeters. So you're going to calculate that equation. So like I said, your steps and your actual extrusion probably will differ, but your expected should be 100 just like mine. So for me, uh, 100 times 102 divided by 104. My new steps should be 98.07. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in to the program and then just hit OK and it'll go through and rewrite the data on your printer board to adjust the extruder to print out the proper amount of plastic. So this is great if you're having uh, under extrusion or over extrusion. So for example, my printer was just, I just printed out this. Uh, it's for the PCB vise and it's kind of hard to see, but it was over extruding a bit, so you can see the ridges on the screw are a little bumpy. So it was pushing out a little too much plastic. So that's pretty much how you adjust your extruder head. Um, the same kind of method applies for the other motors, so the XYZ motors. Um, usually those are calibrated pretty well um, from the factory, however the extruder is the main one you uh, want to uh, adjust. And depending on which type of plastic you have, some plastics uh, aren't exactly you know, 1.75 millimeters if you get cheap stuff. So depending on which company you buy them from, sometimes you'll have to recalibrate for a new roll or you know, halfway through the roll the dimensions change a little bit. But that's pretty much how you properly adjust the extruder steps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.